I'd already decided it was going to be my last night in Max's village. I was sorry to be leaving, but I was restless again. Beware! The day grows dark, and demons stalk the gap by night. Harsh old woman, stop your superstitious nonsense. Besides, this is the best time of day for fishing, eh, Marlo? Yes, Dad. Look, Foster, I use these broken sensors to make a fish alarm. It detects the fish before it bites. Nice work, Milo. Milo was just like me as a boy, and the tech skills I'd taught him would help the village after I left. Do you really have to go, Foster? How can we ever pay you back for all you've done? It's been my pleasure, Max. One of Anita's pies will be payment enough. I owed the Gap folk so much. My first tribe fostered me when I was orphaned all those years ago. They taught me how to recycle tech scavenged from city dumps. Soon, I even built myself a playmate. I'm your friend. Call me Joe. Joey. <laughs> Joey and I were always together. As I grew, I upgraded him. He became the best friend I ever had. But then... Foster! Foster, wake up! The sensors detect a fish! It's a big one! What the...? It was no fish. Max, keep back! Molo! Dad! What are they? Max! Drop him, you... Milo had gone. The machine, too. But its riders had left something behind. Max? Milo? What's happened, Foster? Where's my son? Max? Max? Oh, no! I told them! I told them there were demons stalking the dark! The stalker that attacked us was a machine, not a demon. Please, Foster, I don't understand. What... what happened? I told Anita everything I could, though I knew very little. Max was barely conscious. I could only hope that with Anita's loving care, he would recover. As for me, I had to follow Milo and his captors immediately. I'll bring Milo home, Anita. I promise. Thank you, Foster. I know you will. Dawn was breaking as I left the village. The featureless wastes of the gap stretched away from me. Night followed day, then day dawned once more. Time lost meaning as the tracks beckoned me ever forward. Determination had long replaced sadness. Whatever it took, I would find Milo. The tracks were barely visible now, blurred by the wind. But I was sure I'd reach their destination soon. Then I saw the thing I feared the most approaching. Sandstorm. I battled forward, but now could only guess that my direction was correct. I decided to save my energy and sank into an exhausted sleep. Maybe the old woman was right. Maybe demons did stalk the gap. For as it shrieked and thundered around me, the storm brought back my nightmare once more. Union City security was attacking. As my tribe screamed in terror, I salvaged Joey's motherboard. Taken captive, I couldn't save my village. But I survived when the security copter crashed, entering Union City. On the run, I soon got Joey working. Upgraded yet again, 
he helped me overthrow the evil that ran the city. As I left, I told him to make the citizens happy. Union City was no place for me. I wanted to be where I could do most good, helping the scattered people of the Gap. I woke to find the storm had passed. But not without finishing its cruel work. The tracks were gone. I was lost, and so, I feared, was Milo. Then, I heard them. Gang-gang birds. Scavengers. And in this wasteland, that meant only one thing. People. Despair turned to hope. I was sure that if I could find where the stalker had gone, I would find Milo. Then, in the distance, I saw a girl crouching over a body. It was an old car from long, long ago. I needed to speak to the girl. The girl was holding a device to the lifeless hand. Hey, excuse me. Who the hell are you? I'm searching for a vehicle that... Ah! Ah! ah, no! Damn birds! Wait, I just... Whatever that device was, the bird had it now. lay propped against a rock. The gang gang birds were eyeing up the corpse hungrily. No way I was going to get between those birds and their feast. There were few things that would scare gang gangs, and a crowbar was not one of them. I would need to find another solution. I was short on food, but maybe I had something in my bag I could spare. The girl had been doing something to the guy's hand. I wondered what. He'd clearly been dead for days. The logo. I'd seen it before. On the androids that had taken Milo. The girl was my only lead. I had to follow her.
years, I'd heard rumors of how the city had thrived since I'd left Joey in charge. I was finally going to see for myself. Unregistered Gaplander. Well, hi. And you are? Community Welfare Droid 2CU at your service. To commence your Union City registration, please make your way to the immigration terminal. That's okay, I'm not here to register. I'm looking for... If you're looking for the immigration terminal, it's right over there. Thank you. So how do I register? Easy. Just go to the immigration terminal and you'll get a U-chip for your temporary ID. The correct route is indicated by these signs. Sounds easy. It is. Without it, you won't be able to interact with any of the Minos devices in this area. What's this Minos you mentioned? Minos is the interconnected computer system that is everywhere and controls everything. Everything? That sounds very similar to Link. For the convenience of all citizens. And, word to the wise, no U-chip, no access to the Minos devices. Not even the vending machines. So go register! How do I get to immigration? The terminal is at the wall end of the garden. The correct route is indicated by these signs. Soon as you've registered, you can access the Minos devices. What exactly is a U-chip? Don't they teach you Gaplanders anything? A U-chip stores your ID and personal data in a micro-implant. The immigration terminal is easy to find. What's keeping you? The correct route is indicated by these signs. I've never seen a droid like you. And I've never seen a Gaplander like you. I bet. And what is it you do? I tell Gaplanders like you to visit the immigration terminal and register. Let me know how that goes. Can you help me find a missing kid? You want to file a missing persons report? Go register. Have you seen a boy called Milo? No, but I do see an unregistered Gaplander. Are you sure you can't help me find Milo? You want to file a missing persons report? Go register. You already said that. Good. For a minute there, I thought I wasn't repeating myself enough. I'm looking for a vehicle that maybe came this way. A vehicle? Well, this is a freight entrance. So, you're in the right place. Right. I need to find a boy called Milo. He was... What you need to find is the immigration terminal. It's right over there. Can you tell me about any vehicles that came through here a couple of nights ago? Read my... lips. Immigration terminal. Register. You. Remind me how to register with Union City? The immigration terminal is back there in the gardens. You want a U-chip? That's where you've got to go. Thanks. Thanks for your time. Enjoyed every minute of it. sign was directing me towards immigration. It was a tire or modern art. I couldn't tell which. I 
wondered if the citizens minded being electronically tagged with these U-chips. This seemed like the place 2CU was talking about. Whatever it was trying to detect, I didn't have one. I guess this was the immigration terminal. Welcome to the Union City Registration Terminal. Please place your hand below to receive your U-chip implant. Ouch! A U-chip had been implanted into the palm of my hand. I wasn't sure how it was going to help me. I'd learned to think twice before just slapping my hand on something. citizen ID required. The gang gangs look mean and ugly. It was a statue of my friend Joey. I couldn't imagine why they would have erected it. If Milo had been taken this way, I was sure Joey would help me find him. I needed to find someone around here who'd seen the stalker. A statue of my old buddy Joey. As much as I'd missed Joey, my first priority had to be finding Milo. Citizen, welcome to the abridged audiovisual Union City fact file. The Union City walls were forged in 1994 by a small team of resilient workers. A common misconception is that the team was formed of Australian citizens. This couldn't be further from the truth. The city wall was constructed using British steel imported, along with workers, from Hull in the United Kingdom. Many of the citizens of Union City can trace their ancestry back to that small and very dedicated group of immigrants. This concludes your requested fact. Please return for an all-new Union City fact. And remember, be vigilant. This message is sponsored by the Ministry of Comfort. Citizen, welcome to the abridged audiovisual Union City fact file. You may have noticed that there are a large number of gang gang birds in this area. These beautiful and appealing birds are a member of the cockatoo family and are categorized by a large wispy crest found on the top of their heads. Gang gang are endemic to this region and are found in heavily populated areas. The birds may startle easily but they are particularly efficient predators and can often be found carrying non-food items that they have taken a shine to. This concludes your requested fact. Please return for an all-new Union City fact. Citizen, welcome to the abridged audiovisual Union City fact file. My NOS is the system which underpins all of Union City. The system itself is founded on the concept of a shared space in the digital realm. Devices, droids and information are connected together in this virtual space. This system forms the foundation of society in Union City and allows us to ensure that all citizens remain happy and compliant. Don't forget to collect your free can of spangles. This concludes your requested fact. Citizen, welcome to the abridged audiovisual Union City fact file. The Spankles beverage was handcrafted within the walls of Union City. 
we are proud to offer you a free beverage containing no artificial colors, no artificial flavors, no preservatives and water distilled right here in the city walls. Please collect your free can of Spankles today. The Spankles company cannot be held accountable if you begin to taste artificial flavors or see artificial colors. Please drink responsibly. This concludes your requested fact. Please return for an all new Union City fact. And remember, be vigilant. This message is sponsored by the Ministry of Comfort. ejected a garish, beclowned can of soda labeled Spankles. You are currently at your maximum allotted Spankles allowance. Have a nice day. You are present at the scene of an active alarm. Please remain calm and await neutralization of any threat. Uh... Do you have any information on the cause of the alarm? I'm sorry, I didn't see anything. Very well, do not panic. Minos will soon relate to me the identity of the culprit. Information on this incident is still pending. You may go about your business. How can I be of assistance? There was a strange smell, and it was coming from the truck. I 
reminded myself of the collective noun, a murder of gang gangs. Those birds weren't going to let me anywhere near the back of the truck. I didn't rate my chances against all of those razor sharp beaks. The gang gangs clearly weren't scared of me or my crowbar. guy looked like he'd been out in the sun a bit too long. Smelled like it, too. Sir, excuse me, sir. Are you... Whatever you're selling, I ain't buying. No, no, I'm not selling any... A likely story. Name's Wendell. Joe Wendell. Nice to meet you. That <laughs> remains to be seen. What are you doing here? Well, whilst Bruce's power cell remains as flat as a cow pat, not a whole lot. So you're trying to get in the city? Ups a blooming lootly. Trying being the operative word. I take it this is your truck? It's got my name on it, don't it? Your name is... W? Well, some of it. And what exactly is it that you're hauling? Until I get the old boy back up and running, absolutely nothing. Old Bruce is taking a turn for the worse. What are you doing here? Why, I'm enjoying the sun and the sights, of course. Really? This place doesn't exactly scream tourist hotspot. No, you blithering twit. My truck's broken down and I'm stuck. You deaf or something? I don't want to alarm you, but there's a strange odor wafting from the back of your truck. I don't smell out. Really? Because it's like... Except the splendid scent of tasty mini Ks, the finest organic knack verse the Gap has to offer. Don't believe me? Look at those gang gangs. They love my knack verse. <laughs> Can't chase them away. When the power cell is working, what are you hauling then? Mini K's. Artisanal, organic, handcrafted protein cylinders. At least that's what it says on the packet. Sounds expensive. Doesn't it? Between you and me, they're just knackworth sausages. But these city folk love a tagline. How long have you been here? Lost count, but the delicious aroma emanating from my mini case suggests at least two days. Aren't you worried that they uh, might be going rancid? Well, nothing that a healthy chlorine wash won't fix. So, your truck is full of mini knockwurst? You betcha! Mini K, best in the gap, even contains some real meat. You're welcome to take it, full. Back of the truck's open, although the doors like to play silly beggars. Oh? Requires a special technique. Ritual, you could call it. Ritual? Aye. Now listen carefully. Step one, give the bumper a wallop. Step two, do a little jig. Step three, pull the door and jerk it hard. Wallop, jig, pull. Is that it? That's it, lad. And remember the order. Those mini K's you mentioned. As I say, grab an handful. Truck's open. The doors, they're locked shut. Not locked. Jammed. Oh, and I'm all out of lubricant. So how can I get in? Didn't you listen? It's a ritual. First off, give the bumper a good wallop. Then, do a little jig. A jig? Aye, a jig. Then pull the door hard. Pretty technical, huh? Have to move with the times, pal. How do I open the back of the truck again? One, big bumper wallop. Two, little jig. 
three. Pull hard. Wallop, jig, pull. Got it. Your truck's power cell has drained. Aye, emptier than a politician's vows. There was a sandstorm put the bridge over yonder out of action. I was told to go park for a few hours, turned into a few days. Trying to keep the mini case cool in this heat emptied the power cell. I wasn't stingy on the aircon, mind, or the margarita blender up in the cab. A working man needs his creature comforts. Anyway, 13.7 volts drained to nout. And they still haven't fixed that blooming bridge. And you've been sat here ever since? No choice, until they send someone out to juice up Brucey's power cell. Someone competent, I mean. Mind if I take a look at the power cell? I'm pretty handy with this sort of stuff. Hobsworth has it. Told me he'd have it charged in a jiffy. Great. How long ago was that? About a million jiffies ago. My guess is it's either gathering dust or it's being ground to dust. So all you need to get into the city is a charged power cell? Land snakes alive, yes. A power cell. Do you want me to write it down? No, no, I got it. Listen, you haven't seen a child come through here, have you? <laughs> Pinch something of yours. No, he was kidnapped from a nearby village. Oh, oh, I see. Sorry to hear that. You're not the first I've heard talking about kids going missing in the gap. But I've never seen any come through here. Have you asked those kids over by the playground? They've been here a lot longer than me. What was that you said about other missing kids? N nothing specific. Come on, try me. Oh, just rumors. Voices on the wind, campfire tales. One man's kidnapping is another man's wandered off and fell down an hole, says I. No kids round here. Oh, except those young bucks over yonder. Sorry I can't help. So, you haven't seen a kid come this way? His name was Milo. Like I said, I can't help you. Would if I could, but I can't. I'm looking for a vehicle. Well, mate, today's your lucky day. This is a vehicle. No, I'm looking for a special vehicle. But Brucey is special. All he needs is his power cell and we'll be on our way. The vehicle I'm looking for had four legs and no wheels. A vehicle with legs? <laughs> Think you've got bats in your belfry, mate. Any vehicles come through here recently? Specifically, the four-legged variety. Only thing's been through here recently are birds, bad smells, and the occasional <coughs> light breeze. See, I've been following these tracks, but about a day and a half ago. All right, pal. Didn't ask for your life story. You sure you haven't seen any vehicles come this way? Well, those land trains pass through up top every few minutes. Nothing down here, though. I'll be back. I'll be here. I got your drink. Shame it ain't something stronger. Hey, kid. Hey, weird guy. My name's not Weird Guy. I'm Pixel. It's easy to remember because it rhymes with pickle. So it does. I'm Foster. I'll remember that easy because your name rhymes with fossil and you're old. Thanks, kid. What's your story, Pixel? Well, I'm eight years old and my birthday is in only 64 days. I'm really good at math and I can even lift my sister. And she's super fat! <laughs> Very comprehensive. Yep. Anything I can help you with today? What do you do here? Well, me and my brother and my sister usually live in a tribe way over that way by the old burnt down radio tower. 
but it's like so boring there. We come here for the action. I can see why. What's happening, Pixel? Not a whole lot. Got anything for me? Not right now. I'm looking for a boy about your age named Milo, who may have come through here. You're asking the right guy? I remember every face that's come through here since I was a little kid. Yeah? How many's that? Like, at least 12. How recently are we talking? Sometime over the past couple of nights. Oh, didn't know. Haven't seen no kids. You sure you haven't seen any children come through here? Nope. Definitely would have remembered. What about anything suspicious? Suspicious? Yeah, there was this one guy. Tall, wearing a big coat and carrying a purse. I see. Nice one. And his name was Fossil! <laughs> I got the joke, kid. Did a vehicle come through here recently? Maybe. How recently is recently? Like two nights ago? Oh, then definitely no. But wait, two nights ago? My brother, Vauxhall, he saw this giant monster. What kind of monster? Like a totally huge, but not real one. Huge, but not real? I mean, Vauxhall says it's totally huge, and Ember says it's not real. Well, which is it? I don't know what to believe. What's this about a giant monster? Right, so my brother Vauxhall, like two nights ago, it was night time, right? And we had been playing this massive game of buzzsaws and dynamos, so I was like, Wah! But, uh, where was I? The giant monster. Oh yeah, right. So, later that night, he wakes me up screaming about how he saw a giant monster. And? That's the end of my story. Don't tell Ember I told you. Listen, about this monster. Jeez, man. Why are you so obsessed with monsters? They're not real. This vehicle, it had legs instead of wheels. Vehicles don't have legs, though. This one did. Your brother saw a monster, right? You thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, that it was a giant daddy long legs. No, that your brother's monster was actually... A very small Daddy Longlegs, but very close to him? No. I caught a Daddy Longlegs once. What was your question? So remember that vehicle I was looking for? The big one with legs that I think came through here? On the night Vauxhall saw a monster? Yeah. Oh, you think they're the same thing? Neat! Who's Vauxhall? My brother, remember? Can I talk to him? I guess, but he's not as friendly or helpful as me. Real question is, will he talk to you? He's been hiding for like two days now. Won't speak to nobody but me. Can you tell me where to find him? Maybe he'll talk to me. Nuh uh. You gotta earn that information. I don't know if I can trust you right now. What's wrong with Vauxhall? Like, why is he hiding? Yeah. I told you, man. He thinks he saw a monster. Will you tell me where your brother is hiding? Maybe we can help each other out with our monster problems. Nuh uh. You gotta earn that information. I don't know if I can trust you right now. What's wrong with the roundabout? It sucks. Stupid Mr. Hobbsworth put a chain on it. He said it was for safety. Then he dropped the chain on his foot. <laughs> Your roundabout probably has a chain on it for a reason. Yeah, and that reason is Mr. Hobbsworth is stupid. Can you fix it? See you around. Call it if you need anything. A sturdy chain tethered the roundabout to the ground. Push me! 
The roundabout had seen better days, but it still looked functional. Hey, me again. What do you need, mister? Will you tell me where your brother is hiding? Mm, maybe. Yeah, okay. You've done me a favour. He's hiding in a bench in the garden. I told him I wouldn't tell no one, but you seem okay. Any idea how I can get more answers out of Voxel? I don't know, but I'm getting sick of the whole monster thing. Bye. Call it if you need anything. You ever had one of these? Spankles? Jimmy! Are you allowed... Yeah, yeah. Just don't tell Ember. The sand pit. In the desert. The irony sure wasn't lost on me. I recognized the girl. She was the one who'd run away from me earlier. Hey, excuse me. Hello? You! Me what? You're the guy in the desert. And you're the girl with the corpse. Okay, first of all, that guy was dead long before I got there. And second of all, it's your fault Big Steve stole my deed. Lost your what? To who? Do you realize how much potential trade you've cost me? Honestly, I have no idea what you're talking about. Ugh. I trade. I'm a trader. Name's Ember. What were you doing out there in the desert with that corpse? Mister, are you looking to trade something or what? Trade? Trade, you know, tech, gadgets, knickknacks from the Gap or the city. That's what I do. I collect stuff, sell stuff, trade stuff. Only, since you're interfering, let Big Steve fly off with my deed, it'll be a while before I can make proper trades again. Now excuse me. What's a deet? My DEET, man. DTT. Data transfer tool. DEET. What's the DEET for? Duh. Transferring data. That's what I was doing with that dead fella. Transferring his citizen ID for trading, yeah? You distracted me and Big Steve nabbed it and flew off. Like I said, thanks. What were you doing out there in the desert with that corpse? I told you already. I was deeding his ID. Only now, Big Steve has my deed and, ipso facto, the ID. Any idea whose body that was out there? Dunno. Just some guy from the city. How do you know? Cause I got the citizen's ID from his U-chip. Duh. So were you digging that guy's U-chip out of his hand? What? No! Data transfer. I told you. I cloned his ID data onto the deed for later. What happens later? Well, you know, maybe someone doesn't want to be found. I do swapsies. For a price? Uh, yeah. I got a U-chip with a temporary ID from over there. Good for you. They're free. Can I get into the city with it? No. And yes, and no. Break that down for me. 
No a temp ID so they can keep track of you around here. Won't get you inside. Yes, I could deet that corpse's ID onto a U-chip. And no, because as you well know, my deet's been eaten. Tell me about this deet. Simple. I collect IDs and I use the deet to swap them. At least I did, until Big Steve grabbed it. How do we get another deet? Ugh, can't. That's the only one. If you were planning to get into the city today, tough. Who's Big Steve? You see all these birds all over the place? Big Steve's the purple one, with a beak full of my deet. So Big Steve is the bird with your deet? That's right, the big fat purple one. What do you trade? Like I said, sometimes people from outside want stuff from the inside. Sometimes people from inside want stuff from the outside. Second one doesn't happen very often since inside's got, like, everything and free. But it happens. Suppose a guy from outside wanted to get inside. Ah, oh, my most popular item. Until Big Steve took my date, that is. I'm looking for a boy named Milo who might have come through here recently. You're looking in the wrong place. Only boys around here are Pixel and Voxel, and the only thing they're missing is a few screws. Are you sure you haven't seen a young boy? Kinda hard to get lost in a crowd here. This place ain't exactly Aspiration Plaza. So no, I haven't seen your kid. Did you see a strange vehicle come through this way? Strange? You mean like that stinky one there? No, this one had... legs. Not seen anything like that. Maybe you didn't either, crazy guy. I'm not crazy. Sure you're not. Are you sure you didn't see a four-legged vehicle come through here? Totally. And if I did, I'd check myself right in to see the shaman. That's all for now. Thanks. Anytime. Oh wait, no. Come back if you want to talk business. For someone with a business interest in dead bodies, she seemed pretty normal. What can you trade for some spankles? Honestly, nothing. I actually have an infinite supply. Grabbit's independent traders. I bought from sketchier places out in the Gap. A makeshift workbench had been set up. Its structural integrity seemed over-reliant on some old deflated tires. I hadn't seen one of these terminals in ten years. Link. The evil behind everything that happened all those years ago. The attack on my village. The death of my mother. Nothing happened. Probably because the machine had had its innards ripped out. A metaphysical symmetry of curvature. Man and machine. If that was art, I must have been missing something. There was something strange about the water. And there was an unmistakable smell of ozone. Up close, I could see the water was holographically concealing... an electric fence? There was an electric fence back there. I wondered if it was live. Ow! I was shocked to discover that it was. No wonder the gang gangs kept clear of this death trap. Visitor? What's up with your bollard? Maybe I can help. <laughs> you? Sure. 
Hey, listen, Mr. Gaplander, it's totally cute that you want to help, but this mechanism's a teeny bit more advanced than what you're used to. You'd be surprised. I'm pretty handy with these sorts of things. Sorry, got to get back to this bollard. It ain't gonna fix itself. Excuse me. Oh, hello, visitor. Can I ask you a few questions? Love to help you out, but me and my bollard here are having a bit of a disagreement. Shouldn't be too long. The bridge seemed to be operated by some sort of hand scanner. Error. Bollard malfunction. The bridge appeared to still be broken. One of the posts was jammed. I called upon my extensive background in engineering. It's working! Hey, we fixed it! Yeah, piece of cake. Dude, council sure is shining in my direction today. Do you know how many times I've scanned this thing? The last scan must have done the trick. You see, I'm the diagnostician and tech expert around here. Name's Hobsworth. What can I do for you? So what's your deal, Hobsworth? I am a diagnostician for the Ministry of Comfort. And what exactly does a diagnostician do? I find problems. And fix them? Uh, no, I just diagnose them. Minos fixes them. Do you need technical expertise to be a diagnostician? Of course! You need to know exactly where to point your scanner. See, I come to work and I pick up my scanner here and then I report the problem. My interventions are key to the smooth running of Union City. Nice jacket. Oh, thanks. I like yours too. Hey, have you by any chance seen a kid come through here? Where's the little dude headed? On an adventure, is he? Oh no. He was kidnapped, snatched from his village, and brought this way. Oh, right. Uh, nope. I, I haven't seen anything like that. Sorry. Now, if you don't mind, I've got to get back to work. It was Hobsworth pretending to be hard at work. Excuse me. Well, hey there, stranger. How's your day going so far? Well, I... Great, I'll bet. Anything old Hobsworth can do for you? By the way, just so you know, I'm on the clock. Yes, of course, no problem. About this missing kid. Dude. Word of advice, huh? Since you're new here? Okay. Look, maybe kidnapping is the sort of thing you people do in the Gap. But this is Union City, man. We're a proper society. Gotcha. Thanks. About this missing kid. I can't help you there. Now, please stop asking. It makes me kind of uncomfortable, you know what I mean? I'm looking for a vehicle that might have passed this way. What kind of vehicle? Maybe I can help. Well, I didn't get a good look, but I know it has four giant legs. Legs? <laughs> Word to the wise man. Vehicles have wheels. Not this one. It walked on the sand. And it was, um, shaped like a dog. Whoa. That doesn't sound like any vehicle I've ever heard of. And I've got more magazines under my bed than you can even imagine. It's really important I find this vehicle. Why? Because it kidnapped a child from my village. Well, that's a gap for you. It's like the Wild West, but, you know, without the West. I know it sounds crazy, but I've been tracking the missing child for... Nah, if it's missing children you're looking for, you best try the gap. Not here. Good day now. Hobsworth, was it? Ah, oh, hello again, stranger. So, 
You haven't seen any vehicles? Nothing like you've described. Sorry. Tell me about Joey. Praise Joey. Not a day goes by where I don't thank him for the happiness and prosperity he brought to Union City. Joey and I go way back. We must be talking about the same one. Well, it depends. Our Joey was kind, benevolent, generous, firm, resolute, moral, magnanimous, proactive, and a friend to all citizens alike. Does that sound like your Joey? Hmm. My Joey was more of a sarcastic pain in the... But he was my best friend. How are things going with Wendell's power cell? It's... in my office. But how long until it's charged? Uh, it's hard to say, but it's on my list. Any updates on Wendell's power cell? Not yet, but I'll get onto it soon. See you around, Hobsworth. Oh, before I forget, I really appreciate your patience back there when I was fixing the bridge. Let me thank you properly. Give me your hand. Uh, okay. There you go. Your kudos just got a boost. Thanks, I think. Keep a smile on your face. Looks like you're working pretty hard. Need a spankles? Oh, hey, man. That's super chill of you. But I'll just grab one myself when I pick up a thirst. Axel was hiding out in the makeshift den. Hello, Voxel. Shh. What? My name is Foster. I've just got a few questions. Uh... I'm looking for a missing kid. He came through this way a couple of nights ago. His name is Milo. He's about Pixel's age. And my age. Have you seen him? No, I haven't seen anything. I've been in this fortress where it's safe. Safe from what? The monster. Can you tell me more about these missing kids? Only that I heard them inside the monster. Voxel, about this monster. Truth is, I'm a monster hunter. I've been tracking a monster across the desert for days. I think he came through here, and I'm looking for someone brave enough to see it and live to tell the tale. Um, I saw it. Can you describe it? It was big and beasty, and it eats children, and I could hear the screaming, and it was fast and dark and silent. Slow down, one thing at a time. It was big, like a giant dog. A giant dog? That sounds like what I'm after. Did you see any children? No, but I heard them. I heard kids crying inside its tummy. And where did it go? It sneaked off into the city. After that, I got in here. No way am I going to let it get me. You've been in here for two days? Still alive, aren't I? This giant dog, where did you see it? I was playing buzz saws and dynamos with Pixel. I won and he was really cross. Then in the night I woke up. It was totally dark. I'd heard this sound, like feet padding along the road, big feet. And then I heard screams, children's screams. I ran over here and hit in my foot. And you've been in here ever since? Yeah. I'm hungry. Did anyone else see the dog? I... 
I don't think so. No one believes it even exists. But you do, don't you? You believe me? Don't worry, Voxel. I'm on the hunt. How long ago did you see this dog? Um, it was one, two, three... Two. It was two nights ago. And you've been in here ever since? Yeah. I'm hungry. Any ideas on getting into the city? People go in and out of the main gate. Are you going to go in there and kill it? Sure am. That's what monster hunters do best. Then I'm going to bring Milo and the other children back out. You will? Oh, you better take this. Thanks. What is it? A firecracker. I was going to use it to kill the monster. But you can have it. What do I do with this firecracker? I don't know. Throw it at the monster. But cover your ears. Do you know how I can get inside the city? I already said. You need to get across the river and through the big doors. Thanks, Voxel. Hey, you got anything to eat? I'm kind of hungry. Uh, I could keep an eye out. And Mr. Hopsworth sometimes lets me have some of his lunch. He doesn't usually know that, though. Ah, understood. Voxel's giant dog sounded a lot like the stalker that had taken Milo. Now I was sure that the stalker had entered the city. There had to be a way in through the main gates.